unsafe in the country in terms of foreclosures and also in terms of how it might be affecting the election. We can tell you that here in Reno, they are seeing a record number of people go to the polls early, so perhaps they might be a bit more engaged in the process than they otherwise would have been. We are in one of the hardest hit neighborhoods here, and pretty much everywhere you look, you see one of those foreclosure signs. The houses in Reno's Sky Vista neighborhood went up five years ago. Times were good then, the real estate market on fire. Today, the streets are dotted with foreclosures and for sale signs. It's scary to see things happen to people around you, because you always think it you know, could happen to you. Alicia King and her husband bought their house for $140,000. Within a few years, she says it doubled in value. Now she thinks it may be worth less than what they paid for it. You just have to be in it for the long haul and trust that, um, that the market's going to change. Her neighbor, Mia Fleck, may be even worse off. She bought her home during a peak when the houses here were going well over $200,000. Now she and her husband say they are upside down on their mortgage. The house worth less than what is owed. We have, you know, no means if we needed it to, to help ourselves out by pulling money off of our house anymore. We can't do anything. We're pretty much stuck here waiting it out. Nevada is the epicenter for the nation's housing mess. One in every 43 homes in the state is in foreclosure. Clark County, which includes Las Vegas, accounts for about 90% of them. One gated community now has 75% of its homes vacant. We don't have, at this stage, programs that will help people who are going into foreclosure. This week, Senate Majority Leader and Nevada Senator Harry Reid toured a hard-hit area and said he hoped that new federal funds will ease the pain foreclosures are inflicting on Nevada neighborhoods. The state is in line to receive $72 million targeted at foreclosed and abandoned properties. A foreclosure is not good for anyone. It's not good for the lender. It's not good for the neighborhood. Nowhere is that more evident than in this Reno neighborhood, whose residents complain about neglected yards and an increase in crime. You know, you just try to... Um have faith that things are going to change and uh, and get better because they will you know one one statistic that really made an impression on us in 2006 in washoe county where we are there were 18 home foreclosures this year there are more than 1300 and we should tell you that washoe county is considered a swing county a lot of people think it will decide who carries the state of Nevada? Bolt back to you. All right, uh, Dan, thanks very much. Let's go right to Jack. He's got the Cafferty file. Jack. That's very sad. That's my hometown. I know. You're from Reno. Yeah, very sad. Well, the question this hour is sort of related. How much will these ongoing troubling economic developments influence what happens a week from next Tuesday, Election Day? Bob, in Morristown, New Jersey, the economy is once more demonstrating that the unregulated, unbridled greed of Reagan, Bush, and Cheney doesn't work. It doesn't lift all ships, it sinks the critical ones. It doesn't trickle down, it drowns those in the middle and the bottom. As George Herbert Walker Bush rightly said, it's voodoo economics. James in North Carolina, the last time I looked at my 401k, it was painful. When I vote on November 4th, I intend to make sure that all the Republicans in North Carolina feel my pain. David writes, the economy has turned the election upside down, but the real story is the total incompetence of George W. Bush. McCain can huff and puff, but he can't blow away the 90% support of Bush policies, including Bush's economic policies. Bob writes, I think our financial challenges will help change the political tide in our country. Our global economy is experiencing unprecedented times, and to be blunt, perhaps the metrics need to be recalibrated to measure the economy that we are seeing and experiencing. I've seen my family's savings and 401ks, traditional retirement accounts, dissipate in a matter of weeks. We're talking about savings of 10, 15, even 20 years. The economic hemorrhaging must stop. Jim in DeSoto, Texas writes, John McCain's economy and households are all fine and dandy. All of his houses, wherever they might be. McCain's voting for McCain. The rest of us, uh, not so much. And Rod writes, can you say landslide, Jack? If you didn't see your email here, you can go to my blog, cnn.com slash Cafferty File. Look for yours there among hundreds of others. Wolf. Jack, thank you very much. Uh, notice, notice